What's up, everybody? Crypto muscle. I am pumping iron. Pumping crypto. In our wallets. Coming to you with another video. And you know what? I am internationally renowned because you know why? People like it. When I am, you know, thought provoking, truth revealing, and I just like showing you what you can win in and exposing those fake ass YouTubers out there. I know, right? Crazy, right? Coming to you another video. All right, so here we go. Elevate pass. Elevate pass. Elevate pass. Elevate pass. So, with Elevate Pass, yes, it's an ad share platform. You can advertise with weekly cash back. That's what it says here. And with that, ad share platforms, it is what it is, right? You're purchasing ad packages, and you can utilize their ad rev sharing ways, uh, posting your links to websites or whatever. That's the utilization of the ad packs. They take that money to trade with it, to purchase more marketing, all that other stuff with it, right? And then in the form of that, they return to you cashback rewards, right? That's what that is right there. So with that, that's how this whole thing works. So we've seen it before, right? My passive trades was a big one, probably one of the biggest ones in the past. And we watched the evolution of that go down to shit, <laughs> obviously. With uh, my past trades, they shit it out to some shit coin and uh, ERK. And then after that, they moved on to the next generation. My Eureka Club, that was shit. Paying out the same shit coin, ERK. And then they're in the third generation right now, which is Impulse X. And Impulse X is a shit coin as well. It's, it's probably the worst shit coin of uh in in ERK. ERK is the original and then Impulse X is even worse. So that's pretty much the the arena of average platformers right now, right now because there's nothing else out there that really is there except for what I hear is just Impulse X, which is complete garbage. And so comes Elevate Pass. And so people say, why have they pass, you know, and this, it pays so low and blah, 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 right? Well, you could look at it that way, but you could look at it as, well, it's an opportunity, right? Um, it's better than making nothing, you know, and it's it's a, a way of making passive money, right? I won't say uh, passive income because, you know, they frown on that. Because it's all cashback rewards. So whatever. But we're all trying to make money. And I'm looking at it at different ways possible. Whether it's low, whether it's high, or everything in between. Um, if it's an opportunity, I take it for a reason, right? Because it's talked about. It's out there. Um, it's not one of those things that you don't hear about. Like some crappy ass ad rare share platforms I've never heard of before or just you don't really hear much about except for maybe one YouTuber talking about it and you know that's about it right and those type of guys are like you know the ENJs the uh, crypto music those are the guys that have these shitty ass average platforms you never heard of and that's why they don't do well alright and so this one is talked about by many YouTubers so there's a lot of traction um it's out there, yeah, it's 3% per week, so it's on a lower scale, right? Um, could it be sustainable? I guess so. I mean, 3% a week, it's they're, they're holding a lot more than what they're paying out, right? So it could be, but we don't know until that time comes. For me, again, I look at it as it's an opportunity. You know, I, I take, it, take advantage of it. There's traction. People are talking about it and people are joining it. There's already 5,000 people in it and it's already been 31 days. Time flies. It's already been 31 days. And so, uh, yeah, I think there's something here uh, in terms of long term plans for crypto muscle. Well, that's a different story. And I'll tell you that in a second. But with this, uh, of course, they do advertising. They pay you back in cash for rewards. And 
and it says here team bonuses uh this will get you there faster right in terms of gaining passive cashback rewards right tokenomics that's something that will come down come down the pipe eventually when it gets tokenized or whatever but we'll see that when that time comes we'll meet there uh build your team to higher floors this is where if you want to build your team you get put in the matrix and you can just see how big it can get from there as they build their matrix and then that one builds their matrix and it keeps going on and on and on All right um that was the big thing they talk about career plans you want to build a career here they all say that in these sort of platforms um yeah so everything that they do it's it's uh something to where it, they seem to be going towards sustainability by going by low paying um i guess in the sense that that's a, a model that works but we don't know until that time comes right it's only been 31 days in pre-launch by the way all right, so the official launch is still 13, or not 13, 12 days away on Monday, September 13th. So when that time comes, then we'll see where this thing can go. Uh, I'm not sure if there's anything additional they plan to, to place on the platform or anything that they're planning on doing yet. They haven't really said much about any big time plans or additional things they're going to be doing to the platform as they've done some uh, slight improvements to the platform in itself the efficiency of it uh, the payouts of how they go about doing it uh, that's what they did most recently according to the telegram group and so that's what occurred so far and going inside now this is where it's at and so Here's the thing. It says wall balance zero. All right. So what happened was I'll go straight. I don't know if they'll show it here, but I tried to make a video earlier. And as I was transcribing it, because it's, what happened is in what I use on my computer, um, you record, right? Content. Then you transcribe it. Once you transcribe it to the format, then you can post it on YouTube or whatever. Right. And so uh, when I transcribe it, my computer froze and I lost the content. I was like, shit. So that's what happened there. But I'll show you what happened. So I tried to do a withdrawal. It was like 30 bucks. I don't know if it shows that. Yeah, right there. So on the first for Litecoin, $30. It says created because that's what I did in the video. So once it's successful, it'll show the, the transaction ID. And then that means it's been paid out. So with that, uh, when you sign up, you uh, register, right? So when you click on my link, you register, boom, right? That's just the basics for signing up. And then once you're in, you go to profile, you set up all your cryptos that you want to use or put into the wallet. Bitcoin, ETH, Litecoin, uh, Tron, XRP, Monero, USDT, uh, Ether, and USDT, uh, Tron. And so with that, you pick your ad pack to buy it. It's pretty straightforward. Um, Ten dollar ad packs. I bought a thousand initially, so it's kind of incrementally gone down as it starts to cycle. And what it is is you're gonna get paid to hit two hundred percent or double your deposit. So I put in a thousand, and it's gonna hit two thousand no matter what. The thing about this platform is no matter what you earn, whether it's through their trading, through uh, people coming in under you and you get those bonuses, right? When people sign up under you as a direct um, sign up or binary or matrix type pay, all that is considered earned, all right? Earned cash back or earned income, if you want to say that. And so that is still applies to this total package and what it does is that means that if you achieve these additional bonuses it's just going to get you to that 200 percent faster so that's what it's all about right trying to cycle as much as possible um, to double your crypto that you put in so that's how it works and from there withdraw uh, withdraw 
you can see the breakdown of the minimums and the fees that are involved, right? So Bitcoin and ETH, along with USDT, Ethereum-based, minimums are pretty high, and the withdrawal fees are pretty high, right? And so you look at the next best ones, LTC, Tron, XRP, and Monero, right? You look at those, I don't really care for any of those other cryptos except for Litecoin. I, I like Litecoin. Uh, I don't know, something about it I like. Fees are low, minimum is low, and it's like a poor man's Bitcoin, but it also, it's one of the, you know, longest cryptos that's been going on out there. Uh, somewhat undervalued to me, and I don't know, I like it. So I've just been collecting them recently, just keep on collecting, collecting, collecting. I probably own the most amount of Litecoins I've ever owned ever <laughs> in my crypto owning existence. So that's what I did. I withdrew in Litecoin. And what you do is you go to profile, right? And you pick your preferred crypto to withdraw in, right? So I set mine to LTC and that's what I would draw in. But you can always change it anytime you want. So say like one week you fill in LTC, you save it. And maybe the next week you want to pull out USDT. You just put it in and you save it. So no matter what is earned in your wallet balance, you can pull it out in whichever preferred crypto that you want to withdraw with. So that's pretty cool. I like that. And um, I just like it because Litecoin is kind of a tweener. So that's why I went with that one. And that's where it's at. So I actually haven't done any sort of ad rev pack or shares, you know, with the whole posting ads or anything like that. I just haven't really messed around with it. Just kind of just let it sit and play in the background, making that 3% a week. So you look at it like, to me, it's more than my passive trade slash impulse X garbage. Definitely way more than that. Because uh, you got to sell that shit on exchange and no one's really buying that shit. And they to they uh, pegged the price, which is nowhere near what you're getting out of it. So that's complete garbage. And then I look at it as like this or that burning tree piece of shit dap. Shit, I'm making more on this letting it sit here at 3% a week than that piece of shit dap that's giving you dust money of Binance coins. You know, and Don't bust me over that bullshit. So I'm looking at it like, well, let's see, elevate pass or burning tree. Uh, I'm not going to burn any trees down, making any sort of dust money with that piece of shit garbage. So where do I go? I go to elevate pass and I, I can I can earn more than that garbage over there, you know? So, and more than that other garbage impulse X. And again, it's opportunity. Uh, I think my plan is, I'm, uh, and I'll be honest with you guys, I think I'm just going to cycle out of this plan once it hits the 200% and that's it. Unless there's something exciting that they bring to the platform or anything like that, um, then I'm not going to be like, oh shit, you know, and I'll just, I'll just let it cycle out 200%, double my um, crypto, and then I'm out, because uh, I want to be out before they tokenize, because we've seen history of tokenization uh, of adverse platforms, and it hasn't been good, so I'm here as it's still paying crypto and crypto out, and as long as it keeps doing that, I'm just going to let it cycle to 200% and I'm out. That's my plan with Elevate Pass. And so I know, I know I'm, I'm revealing, ooh, ah, plans, right? You know, but it's, it's the truth. It's real. All right. I'm not going to bullshit you, you know, oh, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. I'm going to FOMO. I'm going to FOMO you. All that other garbage. Like that burning tree shit. Uh, all I got to say is, Again, it's opportunity, and it's still early, though. That's what's a good thing about it. It's only been 31 days, and it's only pre-launch. It's still early pre-launch. The opportunity is still here right now because you still got 12 days of pre-launch existence before it officially launches, and it goes from there. So to me, that's just extra opportunity to earn, and that's what I've been doing with the uh, Elevate Pass. So... Do your research. Uh, there's a lot of content out there, which is cool, you know, and a lot of traction, which is cool. And that's what I'm looking at. And so with that, uh, yeah, like I said, just your research. See if it's something you like. If you like it, you like it, you don't, you don't. Comment down below. Let me know what you think about Elevate Pass. You like it or not. It's, it's I've been seeing a lot of uh, yes and no's. I've been seeing a lot of that. So uh, other than that, links down below. And I will see you in the next one.